Hello everyone and welcome. We're out in a familiar area. I normally portage the canoe about 15 minutes down the trail that way and we go play on the river down there. Today I decided we want to try something different. There's a short trail on the other side of this road that leads to the same river. So we want to go and explore on this side just to see if we can find somewhere off the river a decent spot to camp at some point. It's an exploration day. We didn't bother bringing fishing rods. We didn't bring nothing. We brought some food to eat and that's about it. We're going to carry the canoe down there, toss everything in, head down the river and see what we can find. Way better, minute and a half instead of 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, let me get this thing off. We'll get loaded up and we'll start heading down the river. Hopefully you can hear me. There's quite a bit of wind. But right around this point here, on this rock, we spotted what looks like a fire pit. So we want to paddle around and see. That up there looks like an old fire pit. Might be a nice spot that's not far, but Zero privacy because the bridge is right there. <laughs> Look to your left. Yeah, there's a little clearing right in there. Uh, it looks like it's a rock. Yeah, from my angle looking through the trees, it looked like it was a flat spot. It would have been a flat spot. It would have been, uh, or even if the rock was a little flatter, it would have been a nice spot. Well, let's see if we can uh, launch. We'll pull up here on this rock. So here's the river. Here's where we just pulled up on shore with the canoe. Come up this rock.
Of course, there's a, an old can of garbage. The remnants of what may have been an old fire pit up against the rock. But it's... Uh, It's a nice clear area with some good views. Yeah, it's a little too steep here to put the tent, but I'm sure if I look around here, I can probably go from this tree over to that big tree back there and put a hammock there and then go from that tree out to this tree here and have another hammock. Yeah. Depending on uh, wind direction, we could even set up a fire pit down there. If the wind's coming this way, we'd be blocked. There's just a couple of dead branches at the bottom. Trip off the dead branches so that the live branches get more life. And it would improve our view a little. But look at that. Anne's testing the, the rock down by the water for comfort, and apparently, it's a go. So while we're here, we may as well have some lunch. <laughs> and lunch today is very simple. We bought some buns and made subs. Mm. Black forest ham, turkey breast, lettuce, cheese, mushrooms, and peppers. Mm. I go to work, I eat a sandwich for lunch, and it's blah, sandwiches again. I'm out in here, and you sit by the trees and near the water, and it's Oh, this is a great sandwich. <laughs> but yeah, I think if we build a little fire pit down here, it's flat enough we could actually use our chairs. Sit by the fire, have the hammock set up up in the trees up top. Right now with the fire ban on. We wouldn't be able to use the fire pit, but it would be ready. And there's enough of a breeze that when the mosquitoes get really bad, if we sit up on top of the rock up there, the breeze will push the mosquitoes away.
Well, I didn't think we'd find a spot that fast. We'll keep paddling around and see if we can find a few more. Hmm. But it's a beautiful spot. Mm. And west is that way, so we might get some really nice sunsets. Okay, I'm liking it more and more. Lunch was good. And now we're back on the water. Anne wanted to come and see this here at uh, the little beaver house. From what we can see just over Anne's left shoulder here, we may have just found another private island. If we can find a spot to dock the canoe. Yeah, we might be able to get up there. Everything else seems to be uh <laughs> climbed a cliff. Yeah, we'll have to turn around and go back to that little spot there. I think that's the only spot we're gonna be able to get up. The wind is pushing us, not helping. Okay, let's have a walk around this little island. See what we see. Somebody's already had a fire pit here. If we clear out these logs, this might be a decent spot to use the tent. But I don't really see any trees that would be good enough for the hammock. Possibly one hammock, but not both. So here's another potential spot. The only problem is this is a nice sand beach, but there's a lot of brush. nice area here that we could probably set up a tent. I 
And I already see I can put a hammock from here over to here. What's it look like up here? Yeah, this would not be a bad little spot. What have we got here? Huh. So if we'd have a hammock from here, to here, right by the water. And then right through here, we have a Lucy, we have a Anne sitting on the rock guarding the canoe. And then just over here is where I said we could put the other hammock. We have a second potential spot. Okay, so that's a second potential spot. When we came out of the mouth of that river, we had the option of left or right. We took the left option. We're battling the wind. And it's our first trip out. So uh, we need to build up our paddling muscles again. So we're going to go with the wind for a while and head back towards the way we came. Let's see if we can spot something on the other shore. So we've paddled down the river. Anne is relaxing in the canoe. What we came across is tiny stream that feeds into the river. We tried to go up it with the canoe, but some of the rocks in the middle are just a little too high. So I wanna take a walk this way. And uh, see what's on the other side. I have to be careful walking through here. A lot of these rocks are uh, loose. <sighs> that is just beautiful. So we paddled around. We found two good camping spots. One that's going to be great 
for just the hammocks and it's fairly close. The other we can use for the hammocks or a tent, either or. But either way, it was a great afternoon of paddling around. Oh, but now it's time to head back for home. So that's going to be it for today. It was a great trip. We found a couple of spots. Fantastic. Now whenever this fire ban lifts, we've got a couple of good spots we can come and make some campfires and have some fun. Oh, but if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, you may as well hit the notification bell. It'll let you know whenever we put out a new video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.